Now it's time for what's on the menu and with me is dietitian Janelle Zakur and we're going to talk about one of another Christmas item that um, may put um, us in some people's bad books but let's talk about it. Hi Janelle. Good morning Carrie. Morning, thanks for coming this early in the morning again. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to see you back after your trip. Yeah, it's good to be back. A little jet lag but it's all good. <laughs> we'll make it through. So um, we're talking about sorrel. We are talking about sorrel. Now, so, fun fact, sorrel is not known as sorrel in other countries. Really? Yeah. Um, is it, I've heard it's been called hibiscus otherwise. Right, so it's actually called rossel. It's the rossel flower from the hibiscus family. Okay. The Latin name is hibiscus sabdorifa. Right. But we call it sorrel. We kind of changed it up a little bit. Yeah, I wonder, classic I trini. Yeah, we, you know, we call anything what we want. But if you go away and ask for sorrel, they'll give you a bunch of bush, yeah, essentially. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, you know, there's a restaurant I used to work at, and we used um, the crest of the sorrel plant, that green, to mm. garnish. So it's a really pretty plant actually with red veins. Anyway, let's get into the our sorrel. All right, <laughs> so we actually use, we don't use the flower itself. We eat the right. outside, the calyx. Okay. And uh, most people don't know, but there are a lot of benefits associated with this, this, fruit, uh, this food. And we're gonna get right into that now. Okay, so right. what are some of the benefits? Well, apart from being absolutely delicious, which is my favorite benefit, um, it's packed with antioxidants, right? Really? So it can help, prevent, it ha help pr protect against certain diseases. Right, so some of these antioxidants are, is a word, a big word called anthocyanins. Right. Right, and they're more concentrated the darker the, f the, the flower. Okay, so for like the black sorrel. They would have more anthocyanins than the red sorrel. Okay. And it's such a patriotic thing, you know, there's, there's white, red, and black. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think it's meant to be in Trinidad. It's meant, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, so another antioxidant is vitamin C, so we know that vitamin C helps, pr uh, helps strengthen our immune system. Right. Right, and there's also um, polyphenols. They contain a lot of polyphenols which help protect against cancer. Well, that's really interesting to know. I did not know sorrel carried um, anti-cancer properties as well. Yep, a lot of our foods do actually. And I just need to make a note that a lot of these studies that these um, claims were derived from have been done by a test tube and animal. Okay. And it, there is inconclusive evidence for humans, but there's positive research being being shown. Well, hopefully in the future, with the as the research advances, we could see breakthroughs. Yeah, you never know. And, and get confirmed results. Yep. So yep. another one of its most popular benefits is that it can help lower blood pressure. Really? Yeah. That is very interesting to know. So um, that's sorrel we drink for Christmas. It, it actually lowers your blood pressure. Well, we'll get to that in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> but I just need to make a note that persons who are on diuretics, because sorrel is also a diuretic. Okay. It helps. It helps you go to the bathroom. Helps you pee and everything. Right. Um, it can help, it can interfere with, with, the, with a drug. If somebody is hypertensive and is on a diuretic to help lower their blood pressure, sorrel can interfere with it. Really? Yes. So although sorrel has the property of lowering blood pressure, if you're on blood pressure lowering medication- It can interfere with the efficacy with of the, the drug, yeah. Well, maybe you should just drink the sorrel then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so actually it's a nice natural way of, of lowering your blood pressure. Okay. Yeah, so another right. one can be that um, it, it helps boost your liver health and your kidney health. It helps kidney filtration. Okay. Just get everything out as, as it is a diuretic. You pee right. everything out, right. essentially. Yeah. Right, and there are some studies that show positive, um, positive ways that it can help with weight loss. Really? Again, inconclusive evidence as these were done with animals. Or oh, they were done with animals and, and other, other types of trials and tests, but exactly. not on human beings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay, so I've heard all these good things about sorrel. What, what are the cons then? And there doesn't seem to be anything bad about it. Well, we add a lot of sugar to because, I mean, it's consumed here as a drink. Even right. though there's so many other culinary uses for it, we commonly consume it as a drink, as a juice even, right. so to speak. Yeah. And to do this, we add, we measure sugar by the pot spoons. I don't <laughs> know when last you made sorrel, but we do measure sugar by the pot spoons when you're making a pot of sorrel. Right. And that can be problematic, right? So yeah. excessive consumption of sugar-sweetened um, beverages and foods can lead to excessive weight gain, can lead to obesity, um, poor blood sugar management and can lead to t the development of type 2 diabetes and heart disease. There's so many other things associated with just the sugar alone. Well, so so that, that is the biggest drawback with consuming sugar as a, as a uh, sorry, as sorrel as a juice. Also, oh, it's because we add so much sugar so to much, sorrel traditionally yeah. for our Christmas drink. Mm -hmm. That's where all the problems come in. Exactly. So but that doesn't mean we can't have it. Right. Again, I have to stress portion control portion because control, moderation, moderation is key, right? So a serving of sorrel as a juice is four ounces. It's a half cup. That's, that's a four ounce representation. It is, yes. It, it looks very small, but what you can do to stretch a little bit is top it up with some water. Some water, but then, then you have watery soil. <laughs> no, <laughs> not necessarily. It works. I mean, alternat alternatively, you can use a sugar alcohol, especially if you're diabetic and not supposed to be using too much sugar. So things like stevia and those things? Xylitol, sorbitol, all of those things, right. yeah. So they will right. get, you'll get the sweetness, but you won't get the effect of the sugar. 
And again, the you know um, excessive use of sugar can lead to type two diabetes and right. And so these all things. those associated negative benefits, but all the things we flavor sorrel with too have their own benefits. Right. So things like cinnamon can also it, it helps with um, blood sugar management. It can help okay. lower it a little bit. Um, bay leaf is immune supportive. Right. Clove is, is rich in manganese. So everything that we add to it, it there it's good. Except the sugar. Except the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you go away, it's consumed as hibiscus tea. Right. And it's it's sour. They don't add anything to it. Oh, so they have it in its natural form, steeped right. and, you know, getting all the benefits without the mild effects you of may sugar. Not, you may not get all the benefits because, remember, we spoke about those antioxidants. Right. Right, those are heat sensitive. So the I way see. we boil it and boil it, we're killing off some of them. Oh, I see. But you can eat it raw. Do you, have you ever tried it raw? Um, well, Rishi actually ate it raw on set yesterday because we had some guests who, um, who, did, uh, who, uh, who did an event that was based on sorrel. Oh, very cool. So there cool. were sorrel soups, sorrel drinks, sorrel, many things made with sorrel. And um, they actually had some live sorrel on set. And Rishi literally picked <laughs> off a petal and, and ate the sorrel. <laughs> That's not a petal, it's a sepal. A sepal, my Sorry, bad. Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so you can shred it and eat it raw in salads. You know, it does taste like a cranberry and it's very, it, in its raw state. It's very tart. So very it could add a nice dimension to your salad. Yeah, that's nice. You know, you nice. could do a little sorrel chutney to go with your turkey. Right. Yeah, what, what else do you think we could do? Oh, um, we could do a sorrel glaze for your ham. The ham uh, glaze, you could, yes, yeah. you could do a vinaigrette. True. So yeah. there's so many other ways you can use sorrel apart from the juice, which will help lower your overall consumption of sugar. And again, as you said, it's heat sensitive, so maybe the best way to have it to get all the antioxidant benefits would be um, in the raw state. Ideally, but Ideally. there's nothing wrong with steeping a little bit in some hot water and having that as a tea. Right. All right, well, Janelle, thank you so much for all you've shared with us. Again, um, you know, I look forward to having these education sessions about the things that we consume and how best we could um, consume them um, to ensure that we, you know, we keep our health in mind. Thanks for having me. All right. So dietitian Janelle Zakur sharing with us once again on this edition of What's on the Menu.